not last year, but the year before, I started noticing every single time I would eat, I would get really bloated and I didn't know why because I was eating extremely clean. I cut out a lot of gluten and it was just so random. I was just bloated all the time. That and I had really, really bad periods. So fast forward to a few doctor's appointments and they found out that I had dermoid cysts, which are basically the cysts that have hair and sometimes brain tissue and it's a whole mess but i had those hanging out by my ovaries after having an ultrasound and then being like we can't find your ovaries and i was like girl what hello they're there i promise you but these gigantic cysts were pretty much covering them and they were about the size of a tennis ball so they were pretty big and there were about three of them i basically had to have surgery because when you have these big hard solid cysts they can potentially twist your ovaries and like basically you get like you can die so i had my surgery scheduled for may of last year i was so scared i my anxiety was through the roof because i am a like when it comes to illnesses when it comes to medical stuff i am completely paranoid i am so afraid but there were a few things that I had to do. For like a week, I believe, I couldn't take any ibuprofen or Advil. I couldn't shave a few days before the surgery. And I also couldn't eat the after 12 the night of my surgery. And my surgery was about at like five o'clock in the morning. I also started my period the day of my surgery, but there was no issue with that. The surgery was meant to be in and out so it was about like two three hours long and i was supposed to be out the next day that didn't happen but i went in there i was so scared and and i don't like needles either but i had to you know i had to tough it up got my ivs um met up with the anesthesiologist who was basically discussing what was going down disgusting discussing what was going down with me I told him I was really scared of throwing up because I have that fear and like I was more scared with that than the actual surgery itself because no. Um, so they gave me anti-nausea medicine in my IV and then also right before I left the hospital because I was also just really afraid of that because he told me that women around my age group are very prone to getting sick from anesthesia. That's actually a very common side effect. Um, they, you get in your little hospital bed they roll you into the surgery room. I knocked out immediately because I, I think I was bawling my eyes out. And to be honest, I think they were just like, let's just like end the suffering now because she's in distress. The anesthesia made me extremely tired. I slept pretty much all day. They do come in to try to like wake you up, um, but I was just not having it. Like I would wake up and then just pass back out because I was so tired, but they do, try to make you pee right before you leave. Um, so when I went to the bathroom, I basically passed out because I, I don't know, my body was just so exhausted. Actually, I that it wasn't that. It was actually the fact that I lost too much blood and I passed out. That's why they ended up keeping me at the hospital. I then got a blood transfusion, which is actually something so serious. And I didn't know. This is so not funny. Um, but I was so out of it and, and still so tired that I didn't even care. Like I just signed the paperwork, got the blood transfusion, everything was fine and dandy afterwards. Um, but I did end up staying at the hospital because of that. And they also had to do blood work every few hours, which I hated because it happened so many times. It happened like four or five times. But pretty much after I the anesthesia wore off and I was still in the hospital at this point, it was towards like the night, I pretty much felt very much like myself, like in my head, I was pretty coherent and I was pretty much feeling fine. I could not feel anything from the surgery. Like I knew, you know, obviously it was done and I had like my stitches, couldn't see anything, didn't want to look for a very long time. But I would walk around the hospital, I think once or twice in the middle of the night with the nurses because walking around after your laparoscopy, they highly, highly, highly recommend it to get all the gas build up out of your system because when they do the surgery, they like, fill your belly up with gas so that they can go in there. So that next morning at six o'clock in the morning, I left. <laughs> no, I was. it was time for me to go um, in the car ride home. I really wasn't in a whole, whole, whole lot of pain, but I was like very like careful, which you should be right after surgery. 
Um, and then I went home to recovery and recovery took about like a week and a half to be quite honest. And I can talk a lot about a recovery as well. Um, but overall, it was a very quick, easy experience for me, which I was a lot more scared going into it than like it turned out to be. I would never want to do it again. Um, I did have a scare to where I almost did, but that's another story for another time. If you guys are interested in hearing about my recovery story, I will post that, but I just thought it would be helpful to share my experience because when I was, when I found out I was gonna have surgery, I was so, I was so scared. So if this could help anyone, I hope, I hope that it can ease some nerves.